doing today? Today on the Bilzer Show, we're getting ramped up for a little Halloween action. We are, eh? Freaking right we are, boys. But I started digging out the old uh, Halloween displays. We got dead guy laying down here. He's not laying down right now, he's standing up. But this are our moves on this guy. We'll show you that coming up. We got Mr. Coffin out here. We just gotta refab the bottom because uh, she was a little, a little crusty down at the bottom there. So we'll refab that, get that thing working again. I'll show you how that works. I got Mr. Uh, speedy fucking glass doodad thingamabobber. He's wearing a speedy glass outfit, boys. That's what I think of that. Freaking right, I do. We gotta get him up and running again. I got the Mr. Mum. I got some that and this and some head pop in action. And uh, some garbage can action, boys. Hey, so uh, we'll uh, we'll get this stuff fired up. I've been working on one actually outside. Don't forget to subscribe and like and hit that notification bell bar button if you like this kind of stuff. Why wouldn't you? Figure it get better. But I got one kind of sort of up and running. I had to redo him. I had a different dude on here, so I changed the dude out. Look at that dude. Doesn't look too scary in the daylight, boys. But at night she'd be pretty good. But check this out, eh? Decent. Oh yeah, boys. Okay. Why wouldn't I? Look at this thing. So if any of you are wondering, it's a two-line air ram setup. And uh, how I got it, I got it on a chair, and I just got an air ram right there, boys. We can just give her. Hey, okay? Just freaking give her we can. I'll show you how it works. Check it out. Hey. Okay? Decent. But if that's at night and there's a strobe light on, I'll tell you one thing, boys. That thing is scary if you're right here. Oh, hey. oh. Anyways, I'm going to get a few more out here and we'll uh, we'll go over the way they work, we will. She's a big job and I don't know whether to sell this stuff or do a Halloween display. Frig. So much work. I'm getting old. We'll get some more stuff out here in a minute and we'll uh, carry on. We will. Coughing out and running. Check it out, boys. Fix the bottom. The bottom was a little cocked over. Other than that, we got her going. So how this thing works, as anybody wants to know, is there's a ram with a cable. The cable ties in back there. We got uh, a big T here. I can't really show you. We got a big T here with another piece of PVC pipe that flings freely, right? Back here, we have another elbow that comes up and across where your shoulder is and that's where the cable's on. So when it comes all the way up, the cable pulls on the arms. See, right there. So basically the ramp pushes it up and just a fear force opens the arms, boys. And that's the way that works. So you just leave one side of the valve open so it lays back down and there's the valve there. That's what took the longest to get the right angle of the old angle. Got a video there of it working and uh, you can tell me what you think of the coffin, dude. So there's another one done. All tweaked up, cleaned up, ready to rock and roll ski, eh? All right, boys. Getting all my air props out I am today. <laughs> Trash can, dude. Freaking right it is, boys. So this one's the same way. She's on an air ram, too. The air ram goes down to here. It's got a hinge here. Hinge here, and then it's got a T 
which goes down to this bar, which is connected to the T. So basically, just the air ramp pushes a lid up, and he just pure swings from the pressure, boys. See? She works pretty friggin' decent, it does. And again, trial error with that one there was. Right? I got her to work. Mint. Friggin' right it works, mint. Should put some hands on them and stuff like that, and that's not the other thing, but hell, boys. That's number three air prop. I got uh, one, two, three more, I think, that I gotta drag up. I don't know if I'm gonna get it done today because I don't wanna get them all too outside because I'm gonna have to store them in the back garage now. Frig. But I'm trying to clean out that room down there and it's just, <sighs> boys, I tell you, it's just ridiculous. Look at this room. That's all Halloween stuff, boys. Girls, peoples, don't forget to subscribe and like and hit that notification bell bar button if you want to see every single piece of this freaking Halloween stuff. I got fog machines and this and that and the other thing, rope lighting. Oh, man. I got pulley systems for ghosts that fly around the yard. That's what that's for. Wow. I just got so much freaking stuff. But anyways, I'll do a continuation of this video maybe later I will. But I wanted to show you a few props, get a few props out. This is my fan guy, eh? How you doing, bud? How you freaking doing, bud? And this is my power window motor, creepy, coming out of the grave, dude. <laughs> but I made all this stuff, and like I said, I have some fun with this stuff. This door, this thing opens and closes and whatnot, and I'll show you that later. And uh, we'll start digging through a bunch of stuff. Built some of this stuff out of parts and pieces, and it's just all getting cocked over, it is. It's all getting wrecked, boys. But this is why I want to clean this up, because this room is just totally cocked right over. It is what it is. Welcome to dirty old Halloween Velsum. Hey. So we're going to get this stuff rolling and out and about and see what we can find out. Why wouldn't we? But don't forget to subscribe and like and hit that notification bell bar button if you like this kind of stuff. It is September and Halloween's coming, boys. It's just around the corner. Freaking right. So don't do anything I wouldn't do. And uh, you know what to do for now.